Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, our Creator and Redeemer. My name is Pastor Carl. It's common to hear claims like millions of years of common descent have resulted in birds descending from dinosaurs and people descending from ape-like creatures. Yet God reveals in the Bible that thousands of years ago, He made people, birds, land animals like dinosaurs and apes, everything in the entire universe in six days. In this course, you will learn a Christian response to evolution. Starting with scripture, we will then examine what evolutionists teach. As the course unfolds, you will see the following points. Parts of the evolution story, such as millions of years and common descent, are contrary to the scripture. We can be certain that the parts of evolution that go against scripture are false, because God's word, the Bible, is true. A major theme of this course is that evolution story is partly true and partly false. True parts of evolution are often used as proof that the false parts of evolution are also true. For example, evolutionists correctly point out that natural selection produces new species within their kind. Then they ask us to imagine that the plants and animals that left those fossils behind descended from a bacteria-like common ancestor. Although science is often seen as an unbiased source of truth where the personal beliefs of the scientists do not interfere, you will learn that science is biased and is not a source of truth. Science is a flawed and incomplete attempt by people to understand and explain nature. Evolutionists allow their unprovable starting assumptions, their personal beliefs, to control their scientific work. These unprovable starting assumptions lead evolutionists to make false conclusions about the past. The three primary unprovable assumptions of the evolutions are no creator, no worldwide flood, and deep time, meaning millions of years. We know from scripture that all three of these assumptions are false. And if an assumption is false, then all the conclusions based on that assumption are worthless. Many Christians think that God used evolution to create the world. That false idea is dangerous to their faith. These Christians place their reason, their human thinking, which includes science, as judge over God's word. It should be the other way around. God's word should be used to judge the conclusions of human thinking. This video series is a course on creation apologetics. Apologetics is defending the Christian faith. That defense often uses claims from outside of scripture, such as logical reasoning from science or history. This logical reasoning may help to remove barriers to the gospel, but it does not increase effectiveness of the gospel. God has chosen to create and strengthen faith solely through the gospel in word and sacrament. Then there are areas where a creationist can agree with much of evolution theory. Now, this is especially true of the core evolution teaching of natural selection. It is also true regarding fossils and dating methods, but many parts of the evolution story are false. This course will help you distinguish between what is true and what is false. To help us better understand how to approach people who believe in evolution, it is good to ask the question, why do so many people believe in evolution? There are a number of factors. One would be herd mentality. It could be said that so many people believe in evolution because so many people believe in evolution. It's the herd mentality. For many people, evolution is the only explanation they have received on how our universe came into existence. Then there's pride. Evolution places human thinking over scripture. It makes human intellect the judge of all things. And finally, it eliminates God. People are born knowing that God exists and that they have sinned against their God. That is the default position of all humanity. Every civilization of all times, from primitive to sophisticated, has had some form of religion in order to deal with God and with their sin. Evolution eliminates God from the picture. Many people think that this solves their problem of sin and punishment. But of course they are mistaken. The only solution that works is the full and free forgiveness won by Christ. That then leads to the twofold purpose of this course. First, this course should help us reduce the temptation to think that millions of years is true and also help you to better understand creation. And second, it should help you talk with your evolutionist friends 
in a way that provides opportunities to share the gospel. Because only the gospel message can turn hearts and minds to accept Jesus as their Savior. You know, God asks us to reflect his love to everyone. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, we read, We are ambassadors for Christ, inasmuch as God is making his appeal through us. Always remember that you are Christ's ambassadors to the world, meaning that you are God's representatives to everyone, including evolutionists. Reflect the love of Christ as you speak with creationists as well as with evolutionists. So may our loving creator, redeemer, Jesus Christ, bless our time together as we study his word and his creation in this video series. Until then, God bless. Music.